Welcome to another Ayehu iShare tutorial. Today, we'll learn how to monitor and recover services remotely using email. Today's example will feature the IIS service, IIS Admin. But this workflow can really be implemented for any other service. And for communication, it can also use SMS or IVR instead of your email. In short, it's a great way to achieve bi-directional communication, managing alerts and solving problems through your mobile. It means you can execute any command remotely and be part of the decision-making process during the workflow. Let's get started. As always, we'll begin by creating a new workflow. Let's drag and drop the Get Service Status action from Services here on the left. Enter the service name, IIS Admin, and the requested server. Note that all service actions receive the service name itself and not the service display name. Next, we'll insert the If Else branch to set the return values. We'll use the predefined values of running and stopped. Now, in the event that the service is stopped, we want to send out an email to alert our sysadmin. Make sure to edit the timeout field here at the top to set the time that we'll give the user to respond, let's say five minutes. We'll tell the admin that he can restart the service easily by replying with a yes to this email. Now let's set up the workflow to handle the possible responses. Obviously we have the preferred yes response, but we also have to allow for the eventuality of anything but a yes. If he does say yes, we'll add the service start action entering the server name and the server that we'd like to restart. After restarting the service, we'll confirm the operation succeeded by using an additional if else branch, checking for stopped and running values. And of course, depending on the results of that check, we'll send the appropriate email confirming the restart or alerting the admin that there's still a problem. Now let's see how it works. Let's take a look at our server's services list and we'll see that the IIS admin is currently stopped. We'll execute the workflow by pressing run and we can track its progress by viewing the iShare active logs here at the bottom of the screen. You can watch here as iShare identifies the service status and sends an email out to the admin. Let's go take a look at that email. will reply yes in order to restart the service. And there's his response down in the active logs. iShare is restarting the service, checking its status, and sending that confirmation email. And finally, we see the service marked as restarted. Now, as always, we'll schedule the workflow so it can be executed on a regular basis. This concludes our tutorial on monitoring and recovering services remotely by email. For further information, please visit our website at www.ayehu.com.